In this lesson, I want to go briefly introduce the simulation part and the links. If you click that, this solid editing will be appear. I will explain that more. It's here. I want to explain uh, the links. You can click on this pin to separate this menu. All the mechanical simulation is go based on this uh, joint and links. <clears throat> if you uh, open the simulation part, it's automatically a new library of 3D model will be opened that it's contained a lot of interesting example of simulation that we beginning with one of them uh, we have the uh, most important joints are fixed revolute prismatic spherical and cylindrical in these images you can see the revolute joint that it has uh, a main axis that two objects are rotating based that axis in a lots of robots this revolute joint it will be used this is an pulley joint this is a three called <coughs> joint and cylindrical joint and you can see it and this is an rack and pinion or gear joint okay I explain them in detail I want just to introduce them <clears throat> for example, in first example, as you can see, we have a simulation for plate. We have to go to the simulation menu, separate it. For playing that, you have to first close the solid editing, close that. And you can see the spring joint. This is a revolute that has a motor that you can rotate your object. This this object and you can start it as you can see this is a very interesting uh, simulation this is an revolute joint had that in the settings has if you go into the links we have an <clears throat> for example motor in its properties you can enable motor and rotate the object and this is an revolute joint as you can see this object and this object in this part are going rotate around the axis this is an revolute the most <clears throat> uh, powerful and uh, useful joint in this simulation is revolute. We, we use a lot of this. And this joint is prismatic. As you can see, this object moves along this rail. This is not prismatic. And this is a spring. As you can see, it is exactly like the real world simulation. This software is awesome. Another example, for example, this engine. It has a three call joint, prismatic, and you have to first close that. And as you can see, it's very simple. Here we have a lots of revolute joint. This is a prismatic joint, and everything goes correct. Stop it. <clears throat> uh, for example, another example here. In this example, we have an spring example, a spring joint. If you start it, it's exactly act, act like this a spring. <clears throat> In this example, we have a force and torque. As you can see, this is an, a collision based simulation. And when you start, this force go in this way and uh, you can use it in simulation and force with this. Here we have a <clears throat> gear, rack and pinion, and a pulley. For this example, here this is a rack and pinion. It has a lot of complex scene, a complex sitting that most of the time it does not correct very well. But don't worry, we can <clears throat> simulate this mechanical simulation very easy with a collision base, for example, uh, we have a collision based simulation. It's very interesting and powerful. For example, this. As you can see, this is a simulation base. <clears throat> this, is a, this is a collision base. You don't need a uh, mathematical. Uh, complex sitting for gear just uh, you have to create your 3d model correctly to match the gears and everything is done with a collision 
in a real war. It's very simple. You have to just a little about the mechanical simulation. Uh, and the software does everything for you. <laughs> okay. Another example, for example, we have a pass. We give you an example that make a robot. All of these joints are revolute. And this is a uh, curve. This is a pass. And this uh, point, the uh, robot is mm, go align this pass. And as you can see, we can simulate welding, this welding robot simulation easily with the pass link, this link. I will be explaining it. Okay. Another example is pulley. It's very complex and hard to set up. This is a pulley. It has a lot of issues, but don't worry. We can uh, make this complex seem but very easy with uh, collision-based settings. It's very interesting. As you can see, this is a pulley. This icon is this is pulley. This motor is rotating with this pulley. It rotates another engine. And as you can see, we have a lot of problem. Okay, this is a solid editing. If you insert your 3D model, first you have to go and set up your solid. I'll be explaining that. And then you have to set up this these uh, links to your object and after that you have to start a simulation you can synchronize it to your desktop your vr <clears throat> we have a um, in most important part is parameters you have to change the parameter of your object that be explained them and after that here you can enable all collision and collision based modeling and after that, you simulate your object. You can send it to the animation and just play it. And after that, you can use interactive simulation with a design panel. It's very interesting and powerful. For example, with your keyboard, you can control this uh, all the part of this robot. I will like, give an example in this uh, robot. And it's very interesting and easy to use. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.